it's Tuesday morning. It's the uh, 14th of May. I'm heading off to the project where I've been fitting the wardrobes and the beds for the last couple of weeks. Still lots to do there. There's a wine room to be installed, big entrance with all storage and benches and, and, uh, and that kind of stuff. But I'm starting a, another project today for a different company. It's like a renovation on an apartment. Well, kind of two apartments. There's like one regular size apartment and then attached to that, there's like a, a, a small one bedroom apartment that's also having a bit of a renovation. It's a reasonable size project. And I, I think for the most part, I'll be working there on my own, doing all the carpentry stuff. There's gonna be like electricians and plumbers coming in to do that part of it, but I'll be doing the majority of the renovation work. I think I can manage both at the same time because the, the project I've been working on with the wardrobes and the beds, it's um, a big site and there's lots of things going on there and there are some days where I can't push on with the work because maybe the electrician needs to do something or there's an area where someone else is working doing a floor or something so there are some days when I've had to leave early or I haven't been able to get there too early because of the other things being done. So when that happens, I can leave there and go and work on this other project now. The one I'm starting today in the afternoon, the early stages like now, it's kind of like a bit of demolition stuff. I have to remove two kitchens, a bunch of doors, and just a lot of tearing out. It's very like mindless stuff. Whereas the wardrobes and the beds, kind of the opposite. I have to really focus on being a, a good, headspace to be able to do the work to the level it needs to be done. So my plan is to go to the, the house build with the wardrobes and the beds in the mornings when I'm feeling a bit sharper and a bit fresh and do the installation work there. And then in the afternoon when I'm feeling a bit tired or struggling to maybe focus as much as I need to. Oh my goodness. And then, uh, then I can go on to the other job where it's just demolition work and just putting a few hours there. I'm probably doing it also because I've had quite a lot of time off in the last few months because there hasn't been so much work around and also because I've been trying to work on the workshop and do this work on trying to focus on building this furniture brand. But you know, the bills keep coming and uh, I have to try and get ahead a little bit with money so I'm just trying to make up for the time I've had off. So now I just have to put in some extra hours and I'll probably be working 50 to 60 hours a week for the next month. And then I'll probably burn out and have to take some time off because, uh, because I've worked too much. Maybe I'd be better off doing like 40 hours a week consistently and uh, being okay. Whereas I tend to have time off then I'll work 50 or 60 hours a week for a little while. Then I get burnt out and I have to take some time off because I'm a bit tired and exhausted. I haven't really ever managed to find a good rhythm, to be honest. Of course, it would be nice to be in the workshop every day, working on the products, and then just being in my own space and, and you know, making the videos and doing this kind of stuff. But I uh, just, you know, there's bills to pay and I need to earn some money. But I think I've got it pretty good. It's a good working environment, the work's nice and it's just nice to be able to work and earn some money when I need to. Tell me if this is familiar. I, uh, at the end of every day, I go to bed saying to myself, tomorrow I'm gonna try and start living a bit healthier. I'm gonna cut down on the coffee, not have a pastry for breakfast. And then I wake up in the morning feeling a bit tired and need a bit of motivation. And the first thing I do is stop at the coffee shop on the way, get a coffee and a pastry for breakfast. 
and repeat the cycle. So this is the next project I'm going to be working on. Uh, I'm going to be doing this at the same time as doing the wardrobes and the, the furniture install. I'm going to be able to split my time between this project and the one I'm already working on because with all of these projects there's like plumbing and electrics and other delays that come up with like deliveries and stuff so there are often times when you can't continue or you it gets to the middle of the afternoon and you can't do any more for that day because of waiting for something or for someone. Down the end, you've got like that sort of kitchen breakfast bar area. That's all coming out. We've got this uh, section here, that's all gonna be coming out. I think all of the, the decor, like the curtains and stuff, that's all gonna be going also. Like a run of kitchen. That's all gonna be taken out. New kitchen going in. So all new plumbing and electrics, which someone else will be doing, but I'll be removing that and then doing the preparation work and then installing the new kitchen. They're having all new doors, so these, these sort of old and wooden ones are going. I mean, they're, they're quite nice, but color wise and style wise, they're very outdated. There's gonna be new floors in here. This wooden floor is all gonna be taken up and a new floor going down. There's some more doors, another door here that's gonna go. And then there's gonna be some other things like the decorating, like painting, ceilings, walls, they're all gonna be painted, but that's not something I'm gonna be involved in doing. There's also a bit of work in here. Oh, let's change that, it's a bit dark. So this uh, corridor, hallway area, there's gonna be, the floor's gonna be changed, uh, and, but new tiles are going down there. So again, oh, that's not something I'll be doing. Uh, new floor in this room, new door. And then as you come through this door, I thought this was just another bedroom, but you come through here, and then this is gonna get much the same treatment. So no, new wooden floors, uh, new little kitchen area over there, new floor in here, and then a new door, and then I guess they'll get new furniture for everywhere. So it's a nice little project to work on. It's uh, nice and easy, nothing too stressful. To start with, I've just got to remove everything that's not staying. So I actually forgot to get boxes, but I can get them tomorrow. But I've got to take away all the stuff that's in the cupboards, all the plates and the cutlery, get that out, and then rip the cupboards and stuff out. But I can start taking off the door fronts and stuff.
back here tomorrow to continue on with removing stuff and then uh, it will hopefully start to take shape over the next couple of weeks. Right, I'm out of here. I have this weird, I think age related habit. Or maybe it's not age related, maybe it's just weird related. Anytime I leave a building or house, I uh, click the handle more times than I should. It's definitely a habit that I wish I could shake off. Thanks for watching this video and uh, joining me on this new project I've just started and I will be, uh, be back there tomorrow to continue on. I hope that in the very near future I will start to have more products available and start to get some sales on the website and the Etsy store for the furniture brand and I can start to make a little bit of money from that. And at some point I will hopefully be able to start working a few less hours actually doing the construction work. The snow from the winter has been melting pretty rapidly where it's been so hot. So I'm going to go and take a little look at the river. I think it's flowing pretty fast right now.